We're back with Nichelle Hayes of the library's African American History Committee, and we're talking about a big event coming to the library on Saturday, November 12th, from noon to 4 p.m. It's called Fall Fest 2016, and uh, this is a program sponsored by the library's African American History Committee. Nichelle, what a great event and what a great author presenter we have this year. Tell us about Fall Fest. Yes, we're very excited about Fall Fest. Uh, our keynote speaker is going to be Kwame Alexander. Uh, he's an author, a poet, a speaker. He's won a couple of national literary awards. We're really excited about having him to come out and uh, see our audience as well as uh, talk to all of the entrants mm -hmm. uh, for Fall Fest, uh, Slam and Rhymes, Slam which and is rhymes. our uh, poetry challenge uh, that we have for middle schoolers and high school students. And the deadline for that, and we talked about this at the beginning of the show, is October 24th. So that is teens, get your entries in There's still plenty so that of time. you can be uh, considered as a, as a winner in this year's Slam and Rhymes Challenge. Well, talk about the purpose of Fall Fest. I know this began many, many years ago, but it's really grown in stature, hasn't it? It has, and it's become kind of a force of its own. Um, so Fall Fest is just an opportunity for us to spotlight uh, authors and poets and bring them to Indianapolis and expose them to our audience and have some fans come together with some of their literary icons. Mm -hmm. And we have um, combined this with Slam and Rhymes, which is the poetry challenge. And so it's been a really great uh, marriage of the two uh, entities. And Kwame Alexander, of course, the keynote uh, presenter for Fall Fest, will not only be doing a lecture and book signing, he's going to take part in the Slam and Rhymes award ceremony, isn't he? Yes, he will be presenting uh, to all of our awardees and everyone uh, that enters will be getting recognized. And so that's something really great. We think it's something that kind of will encourage young people and help them to kind of move forward and take it to the next level. Yes, the uh, entire afternoon is intended to be a day of inspiration and cultural entertainment. Uh, with uh, somebody who can provide the inspiration this year in the name of Kwame Alexander. Just one more note on Kwame, he is the Newberry Award-winning author from 2015. Yes. And we talked uh, prior to our uh, chat here that he's up for consideration for a National Book Award, although that is certainly not final yet. So right, but certainly we're a very... gonna cross our fingers and we're pretty excited about that. Yes. What else will be happening during the day? So we're going to have a lot of uh, different acts that are going to be uh, entertaining and it's going to definitely be interactive. So it's going to be more than just kind of sitting in your seat and clapping politely. Uh, people will get the opportunity to come on stage. Uh, maybe they're going to be dancing. Uh, maybe they're going to be doing some other things. So uh, we're pretty excited about okay. that. This is Fall Fest on Saturday, November 12th from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Here at Central Library, by the way, in Clues Auditorium free and open to the public, again sponsored by the African-American History Committee. Speaking of the African-American History Committee, this is not the only activity that the group is involved Definitely in. Definitely not. Tell us about the role of the African-American History Committee and some of its other activities. So a big part of what we do is try to spotlight African-American culture uh, to the city of Indianapolis and just kind of show them different things that we might be doing. Another one of our signature events is Meet the Artists. Oh, yes. And that usually um, occurs, the galas in February, but it's actually something that runs uh, for the first uh, quarter um, of the year. So they will curate the entire Central Library. So it'll have a lot of different artwork here, uh, a lot of different mediums, be it chalk or pencil, fashions, um, and even literary works will be here. So it'll be in, all over the entire library. And that takes place each year beginning in January. The exhibit opens in January, continues through March, but the big event is the Meet the Artist Gala in February. And we'll talk much more about that as we get nearer the event. So one more word on Fall Fest. Uh, what would you say to encourage people and families? It's open for all ages to come to Fall Fest this year. I would year. just say this is a wonderful opportunity to meet a great author um, up close and impersonal and just kind of hear some of his inspiring words. You don't want to miss it. Uh, people that I talked to last year that missed it were like, oh no, I can't believe I didn't get to see Nikki Giovanni who came out and so this is a wonderful opportunity for Indianapolis to see some really heavy hitters um, and to really be inspired uh, to go forth and kind of do their own thing. That's right and again Fall Fest has really grown in popularity over the years. You mentioned Nikki Giovanni last year, Kwame Alexander this year. Mark your calendar. It's on Saturday, November 12th from noon to 4 p.m. here at Central Library and Michelle Hayes, thank you for joining us. Thank you.